Uh, hello, this will be a basic tutorial on how to install uh, Mac OS 10.5.2 on a uh, Windows machine. Uh, as you can notice, uh, I have here uh, my Windows machine and we'll install on it a uh, Mac uh, using a VMware workstation. So basically what you will need on this tutorial is a uh, VMware workstation is uh, Caliway 10.5.2 uh, image um, and that's about it and uh, all the links including uh, the torrent link for VMware workstation and the proper image for Caliway is uh, in the site um, uh, along with the full tutorial and to do the virtual machine step by step so let's begin. Uh, first thing you need to do is install the VMware Workstation. Uh, after you install the VMware Workstation, we're going to want to launch the VMware Workstation. Click the icon. And we got this screen popping. So we'll click the new virtual me. OK. And we'll select custom. Next. Select Workstation 6.5-7.0. Click next. Okay, in here you will select the uh, install disk image file and you will browse to where you downloaded the image of uh, Caliway, uh, dot, uh ISO. Uh, I put it on my, I open a new partition in my D drive and uh, put all my virtual machine in a separate drive from my Windows. It's uh, improved performance. Uh, I recommend doing that. So I choose uh, Callaway.iso. Click the next. Click other. Choose the free BSD. Click next. I will name my uh, machine with whatever name you would like. Save it on the partition. Okay. So we click number of uh, cores you have I have two so I chose two cores and one processor so click the next you would like to I recommend using uh, at least 1024 megabytes uh, so click the next use bridge networking for the network connection next leave it this create a new virtual disk click next IDE, click next. Uh, this is the disk space on your hard disk on the virtual machine. Uh, you would like at least 30 gigabytes for the virtual machine. You need uh, at least 30 for install, at least 20 for installing the uh, the OS and installing the iPhone SDK. So I'll click 30. And so we got here a new machine with all the options we selected. So the next step is exit the, the workstation. Go to the directory where you chose uh, to save the, the virtual machine. We chose Mac. So we go here and in here locate the VMX file. Uh, right click it, edit with notepad. And here we will want to search for uh, guest OS. Uh, we chose earlier FreeBSD, so let's delete that and change it to Dar Darwin. Click the save, exit uh, Notepad++. Plus plus. Uh, click the file uh, FreeBSD VMX twice to launch uh, VMware Workstation. And after this, uh, it's go time. We power on the virtual machine and we start clicking F8 F8 okay I didn't click in time so okay if you click uh, if you go to the startup you click my uh, dash V click enter And if 
after a while and the Mac installation screen will pop up okay let's use English you agree uh, notice that you don't have uh, installation drive so we'll, we will have to go to utilities and uh, disk utility and in here you get the uh, VMware uh, virtual hard disk so we select it, select it we click the erase and here we name our uh, Mac hard, hard disk let's call it Mac HD So we click the erase, click confirm it, click the erase, it will create a new partition, a partition drive. So and after it, fi it finishes, we go to disk utility and we can quit disk utility. And now we'll notice he added a virtual drive which we can install on the OS. So basically this is it. You get the install summary and you click install here and you get the OS. So thank you for watching. You get the full tutorial written in uh, my blog and uh, thank you for watching.